everyone, boys and girls, welcome to Lax Land, the happiest place on earth, not Disney. I'm Lax with Black, a dream called Lax, and today we are back with episode two of Dream Daddy, or as the game likes to say, Dream Daddy Sparkles. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode today, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you already know, it's greatly appreciated. Um, did I do my intro? I don't even feel like I did my intro. God. I am, I, I'm really just like, I'm so entranced with this game. Uh, my intro is like really slow, so it's, I probably already did it. Anyways, uh, so when we last left off, we got into a little uh, boss battle with one of the students of the game, Brian, and uh, he absolutely shitted all over us with his, um, <laughs> his daughter is so, she, why is she, why is she like this? <laughs> like, why is his daughter like this? I don't understand. His, like his daughter is like literally like I don't I don't know if he was trying to like I would do I feel, I feel like he was trying to one up me I feel like he was trying to one up me and I enjoyed every second of it <laughs> I'm awful I'm awful but uh, just in case you guys didn't know I'm gay so there's a reason I'm really excited for this game anyways let's just get back into it um I get to work I'm packing in the various boxes around the living room a couple hours pass and I get some work done. The washer dry unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Yay! First visitor already. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello, I don't know who that is. Oh. Oh, it's it's this preppy looking Hmm. I don't I, I I I don't know what his personality is like, so I can't really say. Like I was I just saw Brian and I was like, oh my god, but now I'm like him, it's like he looks like the kind of dude that's a douche. Handsome, clean cut man stands on the door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Okay, he has cookies. Never mind. He's good. He's cool. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Oh, let me, let me give him a preppy voice. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Laximus. That's what my name is. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring, bring us some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. Joseph leaves in the whispers. Oh. Between you and me. He just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> We're both sharing a laugh. Kids, yes. right? Well, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands us a plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh. Amanda disappears with the cookies. She better not eat all my cookies. Amanda Cooper, and she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try raising more than two. Oh. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Oh, uh, I meant. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I met. My social life is already in a tailspin. What if it's too late to move again? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. Ender. No, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm blunt like, I guess I'm blunt like that. <laughs> I, I, I kind of am, to be honest. Like, I, I kind of do the same thing. But st this is me. This is me, you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment. Acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I I'm, s <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but com com comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> Holy shit! He has no tact whatsoever. Hold on. I just realized that voice, like, ah, it did something in my throat. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm doing a barbecue for the cold sec. They'd love you to come by me, the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. It sounds great. My daughter and man and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids, the perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. Sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. 
if you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> Look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Jess was gone. He seemed, he seemed nice. Amanda walks back in the living room. Crumbs on her face and a cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> that was kind of smooth though, like low key. Low key is like, the, the, the beginning was kind of bad, but then he, he, he came back, he came back around. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone, I'm sorry. It makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? My da that's my daughter, like, wait, wait, I forgot. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? I could use some coffee. <laughs> I feel a little sluggish and coffee seems like the more responsible option than just taking a nap. I'm proud of you. Yes, be proud of me because I'm gonna beat that from eating all them cookies! <laughs> you ate my cookies! He gave me his cookie and you ate them! <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> he walked down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place in the corner. Man, this is such- this is in such convenient walking distance from our place! I mean, I guess. Mm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home? Oh my god, now that I make awkward eye contact with other people. At least when I'm home, some random guy is gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me. I don't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much in my personal zone. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Can this, can I just say that this is absolutely Game Grumps, y'all did a good ass job. This is me. <laughs> Where do you leave it there? If your face flesh hot with shame as you consider the possibility there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug. <sighs> Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda, yeah. Yes, that's, yes, yeah. Like the gay is slipping out right now, but yes, yes. I'm scared to meet new people. <laughs> we walk inside. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> the inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. On a record, it's lining the walls and patients are drawn on well-worn in couches. Cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. I do. Okay, what voice do I give him? I don't even know. Um. I can't give him like the ghetto black voice because he's not like the ghetto black guy. Because I can give him like a, I don't have a, I don't have a sophisticated black voice. I don't think. Um, shit. Uh, stoner voice. I'm gonna go with stoner voice for now. <clears throat> Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? Yeah, no, that's white. That's too white. That's too white. What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. <laughs> so what'll it be? Yeah. I scan the chalkboard menu and, immediately, and am immediately overwhelmed. Honestly, same. I'll have, uh... I don't know what any of these fucking are, so I'm gonna Godspeed you black coffee. The, the hearts! The, I didn't get the eggplant emoji this time. Just hearts. Classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you! Black Emperor is a really amazing, influential, progressive rock band known for the sweeping soundscapes and... I'm doing the thing again. Hey. Coming right up! And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Okay, you're definitely a black guy because no, no other, no other person would choose a, a, a size called biggie smalls. Uh, medium. Huh. Wait, is biggie smalls bigger small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? No one knows who Biggie Smalls is anymore. My daughter, you, if you're my daughter, you should at least know who Biggie Smalls is. Like, girl, girl, I'm gonna need to teach you. Matt's just making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? 
Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey! Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar sport, you sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Man, it nudges me. This place is right next to our house and that guy seems not only cool, also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I'm always stay inside. Also, don't go outside. Also, don't talk to <laughs> Can I just sit? Can I just, just let me step back for a second. This guy is me. This guy is me. This guy is me. I can't meet people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. That's me. That's all I do. I stay inside. I don't go outside. I don't talk to people. I don't. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Well, girl, I don't want to make progress. So I want to make cookies. Can we go home and make cookies? Matt sets our drinks down at the table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. This guy is me. Uh, okay, I need to make a gesture for that too. Um. There we go. <laughs> That's my girl. That's me. <laughs> Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Laximus. Oh, right on. Please meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Matt goes in the back and comes up with a flesh. Fresh plate is something that smells amazing. Does he have cookies? Oh, why did I say that like that? Does he have cookies? Like, the, my voice. I, this this LP is bringing out a different side of me, you guys. Y'all never seen this side before. Uh -oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread a taste of, if a taste if you want us to do recreative labor. I think that would be commemorative with uh I've taught her well. We are trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt services each piece. Amanda and I happily shot out. This is amazing! Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give your dad bad. <laughs> I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I don't give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. I'm trying to think which one I would go with. I think I would go with right said banana bread. Like, if I wanted to give somebody a name for banana bread, I'd probably go with this one. Gave me the hearts, yes. Like I said, Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters will like it despite not getting it. Wait, what? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, right said, banana bread. Strong decisions. It's art, baby. <laughs> hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it just doesn't sound good. Come out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. <laughs> See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He's like, wait, wait, I gotta move my camera. Hold on. This dude, this guy, I didn't know he would be in the corner right there. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Dot, dot, dot. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full on, oh. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Well, I need a nap, and I also need to put my camera back in place. It's gonna be all weird. There we go. That's, I guess that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I get the only option is I need a nap. <laughs> we just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. <laughs> Your father is a rebel, sweetie. You're all aboard the train to Sleepy Time Junction. Am I gonna meet a guy in my sleep? Cause that'd be kind of weird, <laughs> but also kind of cool. Because like, we're taking a nap. We're not using, how can we meet a guy while taking a nap? I'm curious. I'm actually curious. 
How would we meet a guy? Well, everything we've done so far is how does meet a guy some way or another. Oh, as we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Laximus, bro! I turn around and I'm... <laughs> oh my god. This is... Okay, so I've heard that Nate wants to battle voice this guy. So I'm like, when I heard, when I, when, when I said that and I saw the character, I was like, I immediately heard Nate's voice in my head. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Craig? Oh. <laughs> it even sounds like him. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh. <laughs> Holy. Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm. Been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. <laughs> Fucking Nate! You can hear his- you can hear his- you can hear it. Like, you, if you've heard Nate was about his music, you can hear it. Look at him, Zach, you kidding me? He's ripped! Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now! Hello, and hello, cute baby! Mm. Oh, thank you. That's my side. I think we're about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute rolling up to exams a bad hang over the next for both fathers. Where you been, man? Oh. <laughs> I was working out in California just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding! Amanda and I just moved to this side of the town. How's Ashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. Yeah, actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. <laughs> she actually still goes by Smashley. Holy shit. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not good at this. It's old news. We take turns taking care of... No, no, no. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the Twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? And life something, bro, right? Cakestan Craig is a father of three. Mm. Cakestan Craig? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my own college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. Oh. That thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Mm. Right. He was very good at it. Mm. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I'm really gonna keep my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, res resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> on January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, we give up 30 minutes and just walk home. Hmm. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Dude. Come on, it'll be fun. We can grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. The bro brunch. Right, sure, sounds great. Oh. <laughs> great, let's get that going soon. Better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig is a little wave, with a zip in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm really? Mm -hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. I don't... How would drinking marinara sauce be a good thing? Like, like at all? Like, I know I'm playing this game and it's like, I don't understand half of the crap that's going on right now, but... I don't see how that's a good life decision, period. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. Screw it. <laughs> Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce. He drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I don't think that counts as a smoothie, but... Okay. Okay. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Hmm. He's like a totally different person. Okay, so I wanna, I wanna, I, I, I wanna say that jogging makes it a completely different person, but no, I'm gonna say it. Jogging makes it a completely different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. So I guess that's how we meet someone by napping. Amanda and I flop onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Hmm. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. 
No, don't say that. Aw, mm -hmm. oh, Dad is gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. Huh. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Mm -hmm. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I got a dog or something. <laughs> a dog! Yeah. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. <laughs> Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me to give up my dreams. <laughs> I'm a woman of some wants and needs. <laughs> Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Thinking of college, a man darts over the envelopes and shuffles through them. He pulls one out and throws the rest of them back on the floor. This is from a gallon college art design! Open it! Mm -hmm. I'm scared! It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Uh. Takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm -hmm. Hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Regrets definitely the word, not able to offer you a mission to me. Aw, no, sweetie! <sighs> no! <sighs> okay, I kinda saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experiment up before you. And they just want to see portraits or whatever. No. Mm. You're not fine. You're not fine. I want to give you a huge hug. Oh. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So. You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. Ah. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I don't know what to pick. <laughs> this is a huge decision. This is a huge decision. What do I go with? Wait, let me save. I want to save. I want to save. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. This is an answer I would give, so I'm gonna give that one. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Huh. He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go out and watch the game. This is me. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. Ugh. The game on TV. Somewhere other than oh. here. Okay, cool. Why you do that? I'm gonna go do drugs and commit some tight arson with Alice. <laughs> I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. <laughs> I'm a street rap pop. Huh? Riff rap, street rap, I don't buy that. <laughs> you're, not, you're kidding about doing drugs and crimes, right? You're not gonna go out and commit some crimes, are you? Amanda, you're not gonna go out committing crimes? <sighs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? <sighs> no, mixed fun of sports is played out. All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget to chill out that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Mr. Vega. Oh my. I don't even know who that is. I, I feel like that's one of the daddies and I don't even know. Wait, is that one of the daddies? Is that, is that a daddy? I don't know. It might be a daddy and I don't even know it. Always bring a war chest. Basically. Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is. Amanda still has this shelby. I need the GPS on my phone. Someone's gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay. Marching. Marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. 
Could it be? A big burned out neon sign hangs above the tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's. Okay, let me show you all this. Uh, that's what the sign looks like. There you go. Yeah, I got to see that. I got to find a better placement for my... Uh, I gotta find a better placement for this, but I don't want to put it down in that corner because I could put it in that corner. I could put it in that corner where the hold on. I think this is better placement. That should be better. That should be better. Okay. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool bar sound, pool balls sound in the back as Pedro is laughing joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. So if he's Jim or Kim, I'll pull up seat the bar. Will it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Bartender slides me an ice cold beer. Take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I'll really turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. Look, what have it, my team of reference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. Brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal. <laughs> I love how generic they're making this to not piss anyone off. <laughs> the people who like sports would be on their asses so much. Like, how dare you pick so and so team to be over mine? And out of the room. <laughs> the brightly colored mascot, some kind of animal, just cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with the fan of the opposing team. See? <laughs> so people as far aware that it's six colors the team might dislike, although I believe for the defeated that, like me, the passion of their team is all in good fun. <laughs> A middle-aged gentleman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides into the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Mm. Mm. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm married. Come here often? Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Lacksmith, by the way. Uh. Are you watching this game? Yeah, I'm a preferred team as the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with these. Oh, oh I love that team. I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around bowels. Oh my god, this chick, she's so drunk. I can tell she's so drunk. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Oh no, I tilt the game off kilter a little bit. Oh no. There. Uh. Mm. Buy a gala drink. Uh. I'm not buying you a drink. Ah, uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Sit yourself, sailor. Mary Saunders off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points with the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! It's the brute. Oh my god! I can't put this fucking camera in. I can't put my webcam anywhere right. God. Fine. That, just there. Put it in the middle. I guess that's like neutral. Nope. I'll just leave it over here. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know. I don't freaking know where to put this thing. Freaking hard to, to, to put places. And then things show up. And then it's like, it's not right anymore. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. It's just Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. <laughs> I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where the wrong. <laughs> that's where your wrong is to stand now. My team is beating yours. Conversation is then. We both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close. Both sides playing their hardest to win. And in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. I raise respe respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions for the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name is Robert. Thanks, I'm Laximus. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. Gee, the peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town, as slimy as it is. You'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Oh. No. That'd be Neil. Neil waves him across the farm. Right. <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. <laughs> Should I go back and name myself Neil? <laughs> Maybe if I play this again, I'll name myself Neil. Just so, it's, just so I can get on this guy's side. Like, my name is Neil. There's not enough Neils in the world. Well, I'm Neil. My name is Neil, too. Double Neils! <laughs> you a whiskey fellow or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Like shots. I 
love shots. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Robert Nelson Neal says the two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Here's to your health. You take, we take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I'm trying my hardest to look tough. Wait. I think this is what's making... I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Laxmas. This guy out of my... This guy's out of my friend league. I think I'll play my cards are with pals in no time. Compliment his leather jacket, his rugged good looks, or his hand tattoo. Um, what would I do? I think I would go for a, like, I would go in a certain order of doing it. But seeing as this is, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and just go for the looks. Your face is good. <laughs> he liked it! Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. I'm gonna go with the honest answer. Not like forever, she was like having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad. Hmm. He gets up. Be right back, got a powder in my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative, he must like you. <laughs> I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? I don't know, am I? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? <laughs> Honestly, if there's not one person that doesn't live there, I'll be surprised. I don't think I've met all the- I'm missing one. I think I'm only mi- I think I'm only missing one. Let's see. I think there- no. Cause there's... Beard Daddy. There's... Coffee Daddy. There's... Turn on- no, no. There's, a uh, Next Scarf Daddy. There's... This Daddy. There are three more daddies that I'm missing. I've only met four of them. Or five. This- this technically five. No. This guy's four. He's full. I don't know. I'll keep a daddy counter or something. I'll... Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Hey. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? Because Robert's house, would you just be house away from mine? We stop when he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Laxmus. Uh -huh. So are we doing this or what? What? Oh. You know, do you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. I don't, I, 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 oh, is it getting hot in here? Let me just, um, she, I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna, I'm, I guess, smile and nod. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to just, Will this end the game really? I don't know. I will crap to the same place. It's like it's like this even matters. Let's do it. I follow him up to this door, pulls the key. <laughs> I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on. Robert takes my head and leads me up the stairs into what I assume is his bedroom. It's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. It's me again and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I closely take off mine too. Hands are done. I can't eat. I don't normally do this. You want to stop? No! <laughs> Fucking no! Did I actually just... I actually just did that. I actually, I actually just did that. Lord. Sunlight streams in between the slits of the blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house or my new house. Oh, right. I look around for Robert and find myself alone. 
Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Oh. You should go. It's certainly not what I was expecting. We'll uh, talk to you later. Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. <laughs> I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is up barely bright. I need to lie down. I start taking away back home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! <laughs> I rush back home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda? Amanda, please! Amanda runs out of the kitchen, looks slightly disappointed. Oh man, I was kind of hoping you got kidnapped. I was gonna have to come rescue you. No, I uh, made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping over at his place. Where are the Emmas? Oh. They left a little while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Yeah. Watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, usually sleep over stuff. You teens and your larceny. <laughs> so, the breakfast that's cooking, what's that all about? Well, there has, there has, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Ugh. Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. <laughs> My head throbs. Ugh, I gotta do something about this hangover. And, uh, your loving father might have overdone it last night. Ooh, somebody's hungover. Father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin, or... Yeah! I've got just the thing, hang on! Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. Amanda, what? Right. Drink this. A pickle juice? Hey. Yep, it's what I use once I would assume. <laughs> I, it's what I use once I would assume someone would use. I would also assume that it works pretty well. Mm. Although I've never tried it before and won't we'll try it, obviously. <laughs> I don't. <sighs> you ever a stirred yet resigned? To, no. Who raised you? Um, you did? Right. Um, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> this better work. <laughs> I down a sip of the tart juice. No, no, more than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. Oh. Watch it, you. <laughs> I drink more pickle juice up myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and ducking several pieces of bacon into ready egg yolk, I start to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. Well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget to meet with Mr. Vega, okay? He said it was important. Love ya. I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. I always do. Do our secret handshake and she's off. Get a little work done at home before I glance at my watch to see if it's almost time for the meeting. I hop in the shower, change clothes, and head on my way. Uh, still a little hungover. Okay, I think this is the perfect time to end off because I realize I'm, I'm going on 40 minutes. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm having too much fun with this game. Y'all don't understand. Y'all, okay, if you, you might understand, but you, you don't. You don't. So, Please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you want more of this, because chances are you to get it anyway. So, like to use rest, but always stay woke. Thank you guys so much. Peace.